Guns N' Roses is so good. I remember the last video I've seen from Guns N' Roses. It's called Whole Lotta Rosie. All right, that performance was amazing. And I don't have the greatest memory, but I remember that video and I remember the song. I remember the performance. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they're that good. I like them. Uh, and I'm excited. We got a supporter that sent me a request to check out Guns N' Roses, Silver Wars. Now, this will be my first time checking this out before we get into it. If you like this type of content, please be sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's get into it. Let's go. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Some men you just can't reach. So you can get what we had here last week, which is the way he wants it. Well, he gets I don't like it. I just love the way he ended that last verse. Look at the hate we're breeding. Look at the fear we're feeding. Look at the lives we're leading. The way we've always done before. Um, all right, so first impression, definitely a different vibe from Guns N' Roses um, from from what I've from what I've heard. I mean, the same powerful voice from that singer, but my goodness, this is an amazing, amazing track. Wow. Oh, by the way, I, I love the way the drums sound in here. Oh, and I love the melody. We 
got to admit, this band definitely has that magic. I mean, goodness. Um, it's the lead singer, singer, singer of this band. I think it's Axel. Forgive me. I'm going off memory here. I think it's Axel Rose. Um, but, man, what a voice. What a voice. <laughs> songs feel like such like battle songs or anthems i don't i mean like it just feels really large pause That's a very interesting solo too. It's like the solo is a consistent riff versus like just going, you know, freestyling and going crazy. I love that. I don't hear much of that. great as this sounds musically my favorite thing about the song is the way the lyrics are written the way he, the melody i absolutely love it song. 
What's so civil about war anyway? I love this ending. If you've ever seen a beauty pageant, which I haven't, but I've seen clips of them, so I've seen enough to kind of get an idea of what it what it was. One of the cliche questions that they would always ask the uh, you know the contestants, you know, they would give them like three wishes, I believe, and one of them would always wish for like world peace or or to end hunger, that type of thing. That was a really common thing especially when I was growing up if somebody had three wishes you can tell somebody if they were like a good person or at least wanted to appear to be a good person if they had three wishes one of those wishes would be to wish for world peace because uh, it seems like you know mankind has always been at war and uh in one way or another like the stuff we got going on in Israel and Palestine versus like the stuff we have in in America between the Democrats and the Republicans the right and the left it seems like we're always at war. So those last, you know, him repeating, I don't need your silverware over and over and over again. Those, those, those lyrics resonate today. And I think they always will. And uh, it was real powerful. This is a really powerful track. Okay. Um, his voice is very, very unique. Um, I don't think I've ever heard anyone with a voice like that, which just a rage and power to, to his voice, but also it's high pitch, but it's raspy. And, um, and then I just love the, the twist and turns this, this song tuck. Um, I love the intro. I love the outro. Okay. I like some, sometimes i like, I like the little things about songs and, um, I definitely, uh, enjoyed, as I said before, the drums, the guitar, and I am always a big fan on how people say their lyrics or write their lyrics or, or in, in the melodies they choose, the cadences they choose, uh, those type of things uh, are like some of my favorite parts of, of, of music. And uh, this definitely was a, was, a, was a hit, an amazing track, and I loved it. I hope you guys loved the reaction. If you did, please be sure to like the video. That shows support for the video. And if you want to support the channel, you can also purchase me a coffee as these music reactions are not monetized, okay? So by purchasing a coffee, that supports the show and allows me to do what I do here today. Uh, you can also check me out on Patreon where you can catch content that doesn't make my YouTube channel. And you can also hit me up directly. I respond back to everyone who messages me. I appreciate you guys and thank you for your time. Peace.